on our show, we like to focus on more than what's on the racetrack. We like to give you tips and info on keeping your horses, no matter what breed they are, happy and healthy. So right now, let's bring in Dr. Christopher Balt for an educational feature about equine TMJ dysfunction. What does TMJ stand for? TMJ stands for temporomandibular joint. So um, the mandible is another name for the jawbone, and the uh, temporal is, a, is one of the bones that makes up the skull. So the TMJ joint is where those bones come together, kind of on the side of the horse's head. How does the equine jaw move when eating? A human's jaw moves up and down, up and down, up and down. An equine jaw uh, movement looks more like a figure eight, okay? So as they eat, the jaw opens up, closes, opens up, closes, opens up, closes. Not so much as, as a cow would, but horses are very, very similar because they do more grinding of their food. What are the symptoms of equine TMJ dysfunction? One of the most common ones is refusal to put the bit in, tenderness on the bit, um, hard mouth, things like that, where it just seems to be that they're uncomfortable with anything in his mouth. Those are usually the most common things that you see. How are equine TMJ problems diagnosed? So I think one of the important things that we have to recognize, just like we go to the dentist on a regular basis, the horses have to have the equine dentist take a look at them to make sure that there's no hooks that are forming in the back and that there's no obvious problems like a, like a wolf tooth or something that's coming in or some sort of abscess. So first thing is always look for the tooth professional, which is an equine dentist. The second thing, what, what I like to do is when we take a look at the, the teeth, you should be able to look in and you, could, you should be able to see the spaces between the teeth. The upper and the lower should actually line up on each other when the mouth is just in a comfortable position. The second thing we like to do is just to see how it moves, side to side to side. And oftentimes, there'll be one side that's significantly more restricted than the other. So this guy's jaw is moving evenly on both sides. As with the TMJ, the joint itself being back here is going to have a tenderness even to palpation or to feeling. So once you get in this area here, if there's any kind of soreness, the horse will move his head away. Also, underneath the, the mandible, they're going to have a tender points or muscle spasm right in this area here. You know, the horse's tongue has a bone called the hyoid, just like we do. And the hyoid is going to be located in this area here. They have a couple of hyoid bones, and so when the jaw's not working right, they're going to have an issue with the hyoid, they're going to have an issue with the tongue. And when you're not eating right, you're going to notice that the horse is going to drop food, it's going to drop weight, but a lot of it's going to be more like a pain behavior, that the horse is just not comfortable with anything in or near its mouth. How are equine TMJ problems treated? One of the most important thing to do is we got to get a, a, a dental evaluation and it's probably one of the most effective things that we can do. We need to take a look at the, the alignment of the teeth, um, not just the look of them. You want to make sure that there's no hooks in the back where the horse is irritating its tongue or its cheek. You want to make sure that the teeth are floated properly. And what that means is that they're, that they're matched up and they're aligned so when the horse chews, everything's a proper. You want to make sure that there's no abscess teeth or there's no extra tooth in there or a missing tooth because that's very, very important. Once that's done and the horse has a, a normal dental, then you can work on some of the connective tissue. So you can actually um, work on the muscle called the hyoid muscle. The different muscles underneath the jaw, you can actually do a realignment of the jaw by extending the jaw forward and out you can actually help realign the jaw that way. You can also break up fixations in the jaw by pushing side to side, help break up some of the fixations so that you can return normal movement back into the jaw itself. Thanks, Dr. Bolt. We always love having you on Post Time to learn more about our big four-legged athletes. And if you would like more info on Dr. Bolt, well, just log on to his website at drbolt.com. He cares for all types of animals at his office in Long Neck, Delaware. Plus, he makes barn calls. We appreciate his time to be on our show with so many great informative features.